Chuck. Chuck has a cerebellar hyperplasia, so he has a very mild case of it, but um, I thought that he would be slow to pick up on the training because of that. He's slightly uncoordinated. Uh, he doesn't jump well onto things and actually get to them. Occasionally when he's playing, he runs into walls. So I always thought Chuck was a little slow, um, although that's not what that disease means. Uh, but it turned out that Chuck was very, very easy to clicker train. I was shocked, to be honest with you. So Chuck and I have been together for at least 10 years, and our relationship has always been a little strained. He's a very um, vocal cat, and as many cats are, he has his own idea of what he wants done. So I found that clicker training actually really brought us closer together, and he communicates with me much more now, for better or worse. But I find it to be a good thing because it it, uh, it means that we're working and there's give and take now. So I really enjoy positive reinforcement training with Chuck. The first thing we had to do in order to establish this relationship was to condition the clicker. So conditioning the clicker, he was not really scared of it um, as my dog was. So I would click and treat almost immediately. And of course the timing is critical. Chuck likes to do things on the ground, so many of our stuff will be down here. It's how I found that he was most responsive to our training. So, Jeff, you can see he'll get excited when he hears a click, or at least look for the treat, or he'll make a liar out of me. Good boy, Chuck. So, click and treat. The second behavior that we did was targeting. I used this for Chuck, it actually worked very well. In this case, I placed the clicker within the spoon head and had him touch this. Initially, of course, I rubbed it with a little bit of ham juice, which he really enjoyed, but he very, very quickly got targeting. So, you can see that he will come to where the target is, and he will bring his nose close and or touch the target. And immediately he looks for the treat because he's obviously playing click treated. With Chuck, I use a constant um, fixed ratio reinforcement of one to one because he can be stubborn about some things, which you'll see in a moment. Um, I want to constantly reinforce any desired behavior, including targeting. The next behavior that we free shaped was the sit. So um, when Chuck offered the sit, I would click him. So as he would start to sit, I would click him. Um, he's probably pretty easy to free shape into the down, but we decided to stay and work on the sit first. And the stay was very similar too, so I would say stay and walk away a little bit and he would stay in one position, which made it very easy for me. So our second week behavior that we worked on, or yeah, our second week behavior that we worked on was a sit. So let's see if I can get him to do it voluntarily. Good boy job, sit. Good boy job. So again, he, as soon as he sits, I'm going to reward him. And of course, this was a process of clicking as he went into the sit. So, go ahead and sit. He's not a fan of being told to sit. You can see that tail flick. He's really not happy about it, but he does it because he enjoys the, the treat process and, and getting rewarded for it. Um, the next thing we did was work on obstacles. And at this moment, I'll have me take a pause, and I'll show you what we did to do that. Okay, our last behavior that we did for week three was obstacles. Um, these little seats slash ottoman are in my living room all the time, so the animals use them on their own. To teach Chuck to walk around in obstacles, I had to use a target trick stick and basically led him around them. Unfortunately, we still have to use a target stick. It's not something he really enjoys doing. He's getting better at it, but it's a process. And of course, with Cat, it's on his mind. So when he decides that he's ready to do the training and or stop the training. So. Let's see what we can do. Chuck, come here. Good boy. So, simply, I let him around with the, op with the target stick. Come on. Which he may or may not want to do. Good boy. He'll often stop here because we treated the first time. Good. So we're working around, going around all the way. Eventually, I'd like to, for him to do a figure eight. But, good boy. Uh, but, we're <laughs> It's a work in progress, of course. So we'll try that one more time. Good boy, Chuck. There we go. That's what I like to see, Chuck. So you 
You notice he didn't stop in the middle there looking for a treat? So we're getting there. It's a process for this. But this is Chuck. This is our cat video for animal behavior. And again, we very much enjoy doing this.